That's we what we're gonna do. It's for the six o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll start with our pledge, and then Commissioner Davis, if you'll do our prayer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to your come to you tonight asking for blessings on this commission. We ask that you guide us, let us make the right decisions so we may further your cause here on earth. We ask you to be with us, watch over us, guide, lead, and direct us, for we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome everybody out tonight. Yeah. And Kevin leaves us. Gotta chase the damn. I need a break hand like or something. <laughs> Okay, well, first item we've got is the minutes from the last meeting. Motion to approve the minutes. Second. Oh, sorry, James, go ahead. We'll no, go ahead. You can have that one. I'll get another one. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor? Maybe change one thing on the Crown Victoria. The keep administration. The boys are going to put on good deals. We end up selling it to the constable. Okay. Just to make sure our minutes are kept straight. If you always ask any questions. That's okay. why he sold to Josh. Did you sell it to Josh? No, Horrible. 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 Or his burnout. Oh, that's right. He's did burn up. Yeah, that's right. Mary, can you make that correction or do we have to? No, I'll make that correction. Okay. So, approved minutes is corrected. So we'll take that so we've got it done. Okay. Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, bills. It's in everybody's move, packet. We pay all bills. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business. First item is the second reading of the Code of Ordinances. That's where we did it last month where we just had to approve the bill. I make a motion to approve the Code of Ordinance. Second. Second reading. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is to approve the second reading of the sewer ordinance on the tapping charges. Make a motion to approve the second reading of the sewer ordinance. I'll say. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Third item is Mr. Bill McKee, water bill. That should be. <laughs> Larry, you going to take this one? Mr. McKee's water bill? Uh, y'all said y'all was going to, we going to watch it a month and address it. We read 200 gallons, only read in August. We won't read This Friday. is the Magnolia bill right here. Yeah. I'll give it to Paul. That's the house. No, it's the, that's, no, that's, no, that's Magnolia. That's the Magnolia. And I've got the one at his house where he lives, if you want to compare. That was 200 gallons, wasn't it? Uh, okay, this is still the balance floor. Okay, I'm like, what? yeah, it's balance. Floor. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah I got it now. That's I got what it. they're saying. We owe, but there's the right, actual right, usage. Yeah, this is the place where he lives. The actual usage is seven hundred or eight hundred, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember exactly. I looked at it's, it. I don't remember what. And that's about the same. So I don't know what was wrong over there, but something's wrong. The numbers aren't right. Okay. There's. Is there any way to tell? There's no way to tell if it went through the sewer or not. We don't know if it just. Leaked out with the sewer, whatever it did, we had no way of telling it. Did we? At this point, no, there's not. Did you have the meter tested? Uh, no, we did not. I thought you were going to do that. Well, we was going to, but uh, when they pulled the meter, we thought the meter was bad, it was junk. So, we replaced it with the meter? We put the meter oh. on. So, you did put a new meter on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no meter put on when the problem arose just several months ago. And the meter meter was shot. It just is no good. We just assumed that's why we jumped it then uh, before we had it tested. So I can't verify. That yes, it was or no, it wasn't bad. Hmm. Okay. Refresh my memory. Oh, uh, now I know you have paid part of that. We paid the minimum bill every month. That's what you're getting charged. Well, I mean, then the transponder was bad on the meter. I remember that. Larry and his, his staff discovered that. And then they used to get a 36 month bill for, I think it was 140,000 water gallons, if I remember right. Which equates to 5.8 times more per month than what my dad's using at the house. Mm -hmm. And 
there's just no way that can be correct. We have not had any leaks. It's new construction. Yeah, we have not had any leaks. We don't water the lawn. We don't, we don't use water over there that much. Now, we do use some water, but not near that. I do feel like we need to do something because there's really yeah. no way to, if we kept the meter and could have had it tested, we might have found out something. But, you know, it might have just been a fault meter or maybe reading wrong or something. But as it is, I don't know what to do other than just. Well, there's, there's nothing we can do at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I can't, uh, my personal opinion is that uh, the, the 36 month factor is a, is a big thing in my mind at this point. And, I, I, to be honest with you, I think that we ought to forgive them. I actually do too. I don't have a problem with it. You need a motion to that, do that. That's I will. I mean, yes. I'll make the motion to do the, the James suggested. Second. Yeah. So we have a motion. Sorry, James, I did it again. Motion <laughs> second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Oh, same. Motion okay, passes. Okay. Uh, any new business? First item is to set and approve the tax rates for 2019. Uh, you've got the paperwork in front of you with the uh, compensating rate. Didn't one year we did go with four percent, but I don't remember what year that was. Have we? Didn't we one out of the eight, eight, nine years I've been here? Nine years. The last time we had all Ten that public hearings, so for all of them. Well, what did you say? Public hearings. Two six one. Two six one. Uh huh. I've got this here, but I don't see a two six one. It's at the bottom. Oh. Which is two thousand eighteen tax rate? Yeah. Compensated rate is going to be an average of three dollars increase for a hundred thousand dollar home, and the four percent would be a thirteen dollar increase on a hundred thousand dollar home per year. I believe compensating rate would be just fine for us. I move to accept the uh, pass the compensating rate for the 2019 real estate property tax. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Uh, Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, next item is to approve the KLC liability safety grant submission. What do you say for that? The grant just opened today. I was kind of rushing to get it all together, but it's a $3,000 our limit. It's a 50 50 match, so if we spend the full 3000 Reverse 1500. Um, I believe we're going to use it for some sewer cleaning equipment, a roof cutter, machine. We don't have that cost just yet. Like I said, it just came out today. Will they approve that? Will they approve that? Yeah. They said it would. Anything? They said it would cover anything like it would help prevent sewer backup. Sewer backup, okay. As long as we have a sewer backup insurance policy, we could do it. That's good. Okay. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? <laughs> Those in favor, signify by that. Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. Okay. Uh, what was it that you were going to spend the grant money on? A root cutter for a sewer machine. A root cutter. Yeah. Yeah, root's getting your sewer line cuts them out. Once, once I heard it, it just kind of looked off. I was like, That's too much of that drink now. <laughs> I thought he said roof cutter the first time, too. He said roof cutter. I thought he said roof cutter. I, said, well, I, I, cut just, I just wanted to be sure about it. That's all I have. <laughs> Ms. Jody, do you have anything? Questions, comments, concerns? David? Um, the only thing I've got really, September 28th, we're doing a community safety day. The children are going to be um, it's going to be free to the public, free to the kids. We did that fundraiser a while back. We got enough money for a lot of kids with snow cones, free snow cones, things like that. Um, just to kind of quickly go over some of the ones that's going to be there and kind of give you an idea of what we've got going on. <coughs> PHI and Air Evacs both are going to be coming. Humane Society is going to be setting up a booth. 
EMS is coming, KSP, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife will be there. Um, we'll have a few fire trucks and a safety truck from Area 3. It'll be at the park. Empty. Yeah. Oh, down um, the park, I should say. Warm Energy and KU is all going to be there. Red Cross, Sheriff's Department, IS Mike, Atmos, and a couple of public people in Forest Street also. And what we're looking at is having a safety booth set up for the children and we're to, like Atmos of all the electrical safety, things like that. And we'll just be a good little community day to be able to come down and walk around, get some snow cones and learn a few things about things they may encounter. Do you want to fly? I do, but I don't have any with that. It's online and it's on the website. Joe Pat, how are you? <laughs> Not as she's how active she is, assistant AD at the high school. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty active. <laughs> she's amazing what she can do. <laughs> Versatile. What? You're versatile. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Do her good job. Yeah. I'm sorry, you picked a boring meeting to come to. It's my first Welcome. <laughs> Mike? Mike? Yeah. Can I ask Mike a question before we go to anybody else? Mm -hmm. Mike, have you, have you decided what you're going to do on the, on the hiring the law enforcement people? Oh, we're doing a stick with a certified If you can still try to get one? Yeah, before we try. Have there been any applicants? Have there been any applicants? I know, I know you're getting, you're kind of covered up right now. The reason I, I hate to take, just try, thought we need to find something to take burden off of you for good. But if we, if we hire a non-certified, you'd have to wait, what, seven months before you get them? Close to a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a long time. So. We need to use them. So hopefully more will be available here. Next a little bit, maybe. James. Do you have anything, James? I haven't had any problems. Uh, that uh, one thing we talked about, and, and I think it's under control, it's so hurt. Water meter <laughs> Do you need anything from the commission for your safety day? Got everything covered? I can pass the word along. I'll get some flyers out. I'll share it on Do Facebook everything. for sure. Everything else to take care of. Bill Beth, you can put it on tourism maybe even. That's right. I'm going to share yeah. it. On <laughs> gotcha. Pages. I can't thank you on behalf of the Green Meadows neighborhood. The city here did a wonderful job. I think someone was here representing. Last month. Yes, mm -hmm. several people because were here representing. Everyone, everyone is very excited about it, and they finished it up. And it was great. There's a bunch of people here from there last month. Everyone was I just hope it works. <laughs> I've made a few drives down there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting drives. for a big rain. Just hey, going to drive down if here. I thought that would have kept us from getting 10 inches of rain in a week's time, we'd, have, we'd <laughs> dig a every ditch in town yeah. up. Yes, yeah. 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 All you got to do is wash your car and it'll rain. Uh, so this is true. Well, this you want to wash my car? That's about when my gets there. washed. Right. All we have to do is have a concert. Yeah. True. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was beginning to think every time we have a concert, it rains. I'll have a concert, don't worry. Schedule one. So. Nope. Okay. Charles? Uh, just an FYI, Chief Stevens informed me this afternoon about it, and we had a discussion uh, about a fire bill on a run outside the city limits. Uh, belonged to a, the father of a deceased his son is deceased and he's the minister of it. And he's uh, on a fixed income and the bill run was like five hundred dollars. And I told him we couldn't do anything with the price, but we would make the brain for him to pay I don't care what the oh. price is. I mean the amount is even as long as it's consistent. Yeah. So I was in case y'all hear anything about that, I'm I am i do not care to tell you, it's Herbert Herbert Bradley and his son property David. David Bradley property down on Prentice Road. But I just made arrangements, so if you hear anything about it, David ran it by me. And uh, best we could do for him. Okay. That's all I have. Just an FYI there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank
Kevin? I had one thing, and it, Larry and I have already talked about it. And y'all go up there and look at it. I would really appreciate your input. We had a customer. That's the way you'd say the customer. No, you wouldn't say it that way. We had a person that has somebody buried in the cemetery, and they complained about the entrances to the cemetery. Now, Larry had been to look at them. I've been to look at them. I don't really see what he's talking about. If you all go up there and see something, let me know. What kind of complaint? I mean, this, what was it he said? They were messy and junky and, and, and were terrible. And he put a whole bunch of words in there. And I'm like, where are you looking at? I'm like, I get it. You know, you want it to look pretty. I didn't think it looked bad well, at all. The only time I've seen anything there, after a rainstorm and wind, it'll blow some. Well, they, we can't help that. But they're talking about just the entrance, not the cemetery well, itself. Well, you know, some of the land right there. Yeah, right but there. I don't think that was it. The way he talked, I, and I said, I asked Larry, I said, do you think it's where maybe people have cut the corner and made a drop off, you know, or something like that? They really weren't that bad either. So if you all go see it and you see something I didn't see, please call me. But he didn't give any indication on what? He his... just said the words. I, I read you the thing. What is it? He said they were, they were awful looking. I think that was the first word. And then, it was terrible that we had them looking like that. I kept going, what is he talking about? We have any dead shrubs or anything? Did you ever buy that? It needs to be trimmed down. I sent him back. I would go up and look at it. And I did. It's okay. I could. I'm always like, damn it, that's fine. The what? what? The blue or whatever they are. See, I don't think they're in the way, though. Do you think they're in the way? Do they need to be trimmed down? The funeral home kind of poses them. Larry, do you want to try doing that then? Trim up the bushes and see what happens? I mean, I hate to put more on you guys, but I mean, I, I'm serious. I really could not see anything that I would have looked at and said, oh, those look terrible. I, I just didn't see it. That's why I say, if y'all are driving up there, even if you're just goofing off and driving up there and you say, oh, look, it looks bad, just call me and let me know. Because I didn't see it when I was there. I don't see it. It looks bad. <laughs> one of them does look he said it looked awful. That was his phrase. It looked awful. Awesome. Respect to the first that I told you, I don't know who it is. But. I had when I was over there. That's emotions talking. Sometimes you can't please people. This is not. But the they're first, speaking out of emotion. Yeah, and this is not the first time this person has complained. I mean, yeah. I get it, but still, you know, it, it it does bother me. I want it to look nice. I don't want it to look terrible. But also, like, you got to explain it better than that because I sure didn't see it what he was talking about at all. It didn't look bad to me. Yeah, they could trip up there with him. Well, that would be good if he lived here, but he lives in Hawaii. That's a pretty good vision system there. Oh, yeah, I know. Does he visit very often? I mean, uh, he, he visits, visits every it? once in a while. I was going to say, would he have seen it at a time that, you know, maybe... Oh, he's been here this summer. Storm or he was here earlier he was here in the summer, but summer. He, this was after he left was when he take, uh, contacted me. It was after he had left. Because I did see him earlier in the summer, too. Did you get contacted by Larry? Huh? Did you get Larry? I got an email. I don't know how he got my email, but I got an email. Like Larry did it to him. But anyway, like I said, if you all see something, please tell me because I would I would much appreciate. And that's you guys too. I don't care who called. Just let me know if you see something I missed because it I did not see. It. Joe, Beth, check that out on your way back. She drives by there. <laughs> Have you ever thought it looked bad? I mean, honestly. One time the fence. But that's that's on the far. That's and not. I'm an observant person. But that's not the entrance, though, is it? That's against the. No, this was like the. Yeah. Bell of the, it was on the. Entrance. One of the white, the white fence. Like oh, the by white, where? The, one of the rungs right. that came. Yeah. I don't think that's what he was talking about either. But no, I'm just saying. Okay. Well, if you see something, please call me. know. I would appreciate it. <laughs> Because I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do tell him other than we, I don't know. Well, that's going to be the town. Do you like to have a meeting Take with him? Take pictures of it, email him the pictures, tell him. And he knows what it looks like. That's what gets me. What is he seeing no, that I'm not point seeing? Out or draw. Oh, that would be a good idea. I could do that. Okay. Like circle what you think looks bad. Larry will take care of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything else? That's all I have. Okay, just two things. One, September 23rd, which you all already know because Mary just told you up here. Uh, they are hosting oh, the grand. That's my thought wrong. It's twenty third. Twenty third. Okay. The grand annual dinner is going to be at the amphitheater. Uh, Judge Johnston is on the grad executive committee, and he's the chairman of grad this year. So they were. And I don't think 
to my knowledge, and Jatin never did get back with me. He was going to look and see, but I don't know that it's ever been held outside of Owensboro. It has not. It has not. It has not. Okay, I didn't. He didn't think it's it had. But he was going to check. Y'all. I don't mean to be rude. This. Uh, I hope it's good And Jatin was. I pray it's good weather. Jatin was really pushing for this. He really wanted to have it over here because he thought this was something that the something. other counties in the grad needed to see. So they are going to have a tent. In case, in case, would it fit everybody under there? It's supposed to. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's quite a few people coming to this thing. They're, they're planning for, they're planning for 300. Uh, last year was the biggest one at 350 at the convention center, but that was for the 50th anniversary. And this one, of course, is a little further away from people from Union and Webster County, so it may cut down on some numbers there too. So, you know, they're planning on 300, and she hopes we have 250. But uh, the, the tent should be, but. I'm hoping they don't even have to set it up. It'd be nice. If you get there and you have a nice night and the that's what I hope stars too. shining bright. So and but anyway that's and about sixty five or seventy degrees. Yeah. Yep. So that's the twenty third. Then of course the KLC conference is the twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, and twenty seventh. Is are y'all are you are you going Kevin? I'm coming up Wednesday and be there Wednesday and Thursday. Now. Okay. I won't be there Friday. No, we got revival meeting that week. Oh, I, I think Jay's and I are the only two going. Oh, okay, well, I knew you. Seen you and I hadn't. I hadn't talked to you, so I didn't know if you were going to. We got revival a couple of years ago. I know. Yeah, right. Move. I think you can't move. Yeah. Then they move KLC. <coughs> but I do plan on coming, and I know Jamie's coming too. Yes, the day after the grad meeting. You and James going out. It's going to be a busy week. There, there's some things. I know Joe Beth and I talked about. We want to look at that water park like we did last year. Remember, we're going to see what I want to know what it costs, and we're going to get a better better number this year. But I, I would like to see. I think something. we were kind of shell shocked last year with the number he threw out. Well, yeah, but I'm wondering now if it's a little cheaper because the you know the one he was we were me and you were talking about was huge. Well, the big thing was the re, the filtration filtration system. system. And I'm wondering that we don't cheaper. have to have that. I don't want to just use fresh water all the time. And so you know it's something. Larry, do you have anything? Yeah, I got several things. Uh, we have a gentleman, Caleb Butler, that we hired part time for the sanitation route. Uh, they asked us if we consider making him full time, uh, making nine fifty an hour after probation. I would like to see him go with ten dollars. I moved to accept Mr. Butler full time with a point six ten dollars. Nine fifty first, and then ten. Nine fifty. Okay, I didn't talk that last part. So get, he's worked out pretty well for you. Yeah, he is. I saw him the other day, and he was Good. working hard. Okay, well, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, aye. Uh, I've got a price from Lane Road Electrical on the uh, tile down here on the alley. Uh, I've called and left a message. Uh, he hasn't returned yet. Uh, his bid come in at 41000 But there's, there's certain materials that we can buy to get it under the threshold on the bid out portion, uh, provided we can get it down. Are we okay to go ahead and proceed? The alley, the you know, it's going to redo the storm drain for Second Street. It almost has to be. Yeah, done. I say it has to be done. Yeah, it's it. and well, it's we've got a budget to do it. Yeah. It's just, yeah. yeah. Um, do you need to let me know form of well, motion or just say yes? Well, I see. I don't know what the truth is. So. I'd say let's just with the consensus we're going to do that, and if we have to have a short call meeting to approve it off, we need to to get him started. Okay. Uh, Josh Tyler that held the last baseball tournament at the park. He is affiliated with this company called Game Seven. Uh, there is the, the company of the Game Seven is not even located in Kentucky. He would be the first. He's wanting to know if we would guarantee him one weekend a month at our park to host tournaments. He would just need a simple letter from City of Beaver Dam stating that you know we're not giving him a, a definite date because we don't know our concert series. But we're you know we're just basically going to say that one weekend a month we will dedicate the park for for Game Seven to hold tournaments. And they're talking some big numbers. Yes. Uh, anticipating some 40, what, 40, 40 team. I don't have a problem with it. As long as, like you say, it's not on concert night, but that's. That well, and we told them that's something we can't give yeah, them a definite date on. Not until what, January, February. Or March or April. Well, and they, probably, they probably won't schedule their. their, con, their I mean, that's, they probably won't schedule their ball tournaments until then either. Well, they wanted to start in April. He wants to have one in April. But we might be able to tell him a couple of months to go. Well, April, May, we could probably give him. I know we could April and May, we could probably give him dates. Yeah. Or, you know, or close to it. Early enough. And the others, you know, by the time I think he needs them, yeah. the way he talked, we'll be okay. Then he's wanting to go into October? I think so. That'll be good. They're talking like 40 teams yeah. on average? 40 and 48 is what I was told. Yeah. Yeah. 
the yeah, Mark would be happy that it. it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday oh. games. It's a lot of people. Big, big yeah. mm -hmm. And then I have, I have one issue for close session on the uh, property. Well, do we need to make that motion on the? It probably needs to be on the minutes. Just commission area? Yeah, that's right. It's the census. Yeah. <laughs> You put in that in form of a motion? Uh, did we, did we, if we need to, I will, yes. Mo oh, you just, oh, you say just put it in the minutes of the consensus? Yeah. The, yeah okay, consensus. good. No, never mind. I'm sorry. Okay, does anybody else, Mary, do you have anything? No. Does anybody else have anything before we go into closed session? Okay, entertain a motion for closed session. Wait, one second.